Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about the leakage current in the semiconductors. So leakage current in semiconductors means the current contributed by the minority carriers now this minority carrier current depends not only on the temperature but it also depends on the atmospheric temperature also so this minority carrier current or the leakage current is denoted by i0 and this I0 will not depend on the applied potentials, but I0 depends on the temperature of the device that's why i0 is also called as thermally generated current Sometimes this I0 has another name, it is also called as reverse saturation current. Now, according to our previous discussion, the general semiconductors we have taken as the silicon and germanium. So, for germanium, the I0 value is of the order of microammeter and for silicon, it is nanoammeter. So, we can say that in silicon, the leakage current I0 has a very low value, but the germanium has a very high value. So, in silicon, semiconductor I0 is very low value that's why the effect of temperature on the semiconductor that is silicon will be very low that's why silicon is large thermally stable thermally stable with respect to germanium semiconductors now if the leakage current increases if the leakage current increases then the effect of temperature on the semiconductor will be very high then the semiconductor become thermally instable so semiconductor will be thermally unstable now let us see how this leakage current i0 varies with the temperature before that we have already discussed that this leakage current i0 is due to 
the minority carrier flow in semiconductors that's why this leakage current is also called as minority carrier current now let us see how this minority carrier current or i0 depends on the temperature generally the rule of thumb is that for every 10 degree centigrade rise in the temperature i0 will be doubled and if we increase the temperature by 1 degree centigrade then the I0 value will increase by 7 percent. So suppose we have a semiconductor which has an initial temperature of T1 and at this temperature we have an leakage current value that is I0 at T1 but after some time the temperature of the semiconductor changes to T2 and at that value of temperature the leakage current is I0 of T2. Now before going to this topic I can find the value of I0T from this I0T1 that is I0 of T2 is equals to I0 of T1 into 2 to the power T2 minus T1 divided by 10. By this equation we can find the value of I0T that is the leakage current of the final temperature from the initial temperature. This is all about the leakage current in the semiconductors. Thank you.